Well, you've done it again, America. Out of 250 million people, you've narrowed down the presidential race to George Bush and Michael Dukakis. Tweedledum and Tweedledumber. <laughs> I'm not counting Jesse Jackson out. A lot of people say they wouldn't mind having a black for president. But they say Jackson's not the right black. Well, who is? Mike Tyson? <laughs> you tell Mike Tyson he's not the right black. Now, for 20 years, you've looked past the obvious. Over here. In 1968, you chose Richard Nixon over me. And what did you get? Riots in the streets, women burning their bras, and the Beatles broke up. <laughs> now, if I'd been elected president, I would have done everything in my power to keep the Beatles together. <laughs> in 1972, you chose Nixon over me again. And what did you get? Ford. <laughs> and what did Ford do? Pardon Nixon. <laughs> well, pardon me. <laughs> In 1976, you chose Jimmy Carter over me. And what did you get? The energy crisis. Now, if I'd been elected president, there would not have been an energy crisis. Why? Well, I'm not going to tell you because you didn't vote for me. <laughs> in 1980 and 1984, you made me the choice. Well, you made Ronald Reagan the choice over me, actually. And what did you get? A 50% increase in criminal activity. And that was just in his cabinet. <laughs> God knows what's in his closet. If I were president, I would have called the cops. That brings us to 1988. It's your last chance, America. What this country needs is a simple man. Someone who acts like a president. Someone who talks like a president. Someone who looks like a president. <laughs> now, you can fool some of the people all of the time, and you can fool all of the people some of the time. But if you could just fool one little person one little time, what a wonderful world this would be. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Cole and Company.